Peace, peace, peace. This is your international sales and marketing villain, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You rock with the best. You heard? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Uh, we're going to have a really good conversation today. Uh, if you are in the real estate, uh, if you're an agent, broker, entrepreneur, business owner, aspiring entrepreneur or maybe you're in the music industry this video is for you this podcast here so uh i want you guys to type in where you're tuning in from let me know we have people from all around the country all around the world that tunes into this podcast and i'm very appreciative that you guys are joining me tonight uh quick announcement if you guys have not registered for my Google training, my free online Google, Google training on how to access millions of paying customers, you need to do that immediately. You need to do that immediately. I will drop the link in the description bar below. We already got 52 people that signed up within the last three days. Um, we're only going to allow 100 people to join us live so it will fill up i do suggest that you get there early it's going to be on a wednesday um so i will drop the link below if you are an entrepreneur if you are a business owner and you're looking to acquire more clients more paying customers you need to jump on this training i am going to show you how to access free paying clients on Google. So let's get into the subject. So here's the thing, right? We have a lot of entrepreneurs out there, a lot of business owners, and but they're missing some fundamentals about selling, right? So one of the things that I want to share with you guys is that a lot of times we do not try to access the hot button of the client. Now, let me explain what the hot button is. The hot button is a very, very discreet indication of what the customer really, really, really desires. It is a very discreet indication of what that customer really, really, really desire. And the only way you can access that hot button is by listening to that client and consulting them. Now, there's a lot of things that can co come up in the conversation, but one of the things that I have noticed with entrepreneurs and business owners is that they're eliminating their the qualification of the client too quick. Because we're living in a microwavable, fast society today, we're not taking the time to really understand the client. And you know, everybody is a potential client. I want you guys to know that only 10% of people really care about money. So if somebody's telling you, oh, you're too expensive, that's really not the underlying reason why. If they tell you that it's too expensive, it's because you never took the time to find out what their hot button is and what they really wanted. I'll give you an example. In my notary business, right? Somebody may call me and say, Hey, I'm looking for a notary. How much is it? I never, ever give them the price first. I repeat, someone will call me and say, hi, I'm looking for a notary. Where are you guys located? How much is it? I never give them the price first. That is the quickest way to end that conversation with no rapport whatsoever. If I just say, hey, our price is $137. Okay, thanks. They already made up in their mind. It's too expensive. I didn't build value into it. I didn't even bother trying to find out why they needed the notary in the first place. Did they need a stationary mo uh, notary? Did they need a hospital visit notary? I just gave them a price. Like, basically, I don't care. Here's the price. You're either going to take it or leave it. Get out of my face. That is not the way you want to do business. 
when somebody is coming and I don't care, especially if you're in real estate and stuff like that. And if you're in real estate, this is going to be very, very helpful because I consult a lot of agents and brokers and what they happen to do is, Hey, I'm going to show you a couple of houses today. And this house over here is $30,000. This house over here is a hundred thousand dollars. This house over here is a quarter of a million dollars. Dude, you, you didn't build no value in the property. So to them it's just, Hey, which one has a better floor plan? Um, which one, you know, which one has recessive lighting? You, you didn't, you didn't build value into that situation. So you want to listen to your client, ask them, okay, what are you looking for in a home? You'll be surprised. Now you have to listen intentively, right? Intently. The customer is really going to tell you what they really, really, really want. But if you're not actively listening, like if you're just writing, it, it's, this is a good measure. Write down what they're telling you. Now, if you're just looking around, see who's at the, you know, water cooler or man, I forgot to pay this bill and you're not even really paying attention to the conversation, you'll miss the hot button every single time. You must treat that customer as if they are the most important person that you will meet that day. Treat that person like they are the most important person you're going to meet that day. It will come across that way. So let me give you an example of what you do. The person says, you say, okay, what are you looking for in a property, you know, or in a home? Well, I would love a kitchen with an island, you know, because when I was a little kid, we used to always sit around the island, me, my mom, and my brothers, and we would, you know, have breakfast, lunch, dinner, and we would have the best conversations. Now that I'm a, I have a family of my own, I'd like to have something like that. But then I also want, you know, a big living room. I want a large, you know, uh, a man cave. I also want, you know, like two, three bathrooms and stuff like that. So boom. So if you're not paying attention you know, to that client and what that client is saying, you'll never really be able to close that deal. So of course the kitchen story is very important to that client, right? More importantly, here's the hot button. Here's where the hot button comes in. Family is very important to that family for, to that, that buyer. Not as much as the kitchen. Now, now the kitchen is a, is a surface layer, but family is extremely important to that buyer because the buyer is telling you that when I was younger, I used to have breakfast, lunch, dinner in the kitchen, right? He values family. Now that he is a family man, he wants to do the same. That means he wants a cozy place. He wants a place that feels very family oriented. He, it doesn't, he doesn't want some place that looks like a bachelor pad, right? So intentively listening and honing in on that and looking for properties that will suit that person's need. You can actually even get that buyer off of the island being in the kitchen. As long as the kitchen looks like it's warm and inviting for a family to entertain and enjoy themselves. I hope this is making sense to you guys. So let's just say you got the buyer, you bring the buyer to a property, right? Now, all this time, we, we really didn't go over any price of the property. When you take that buyer into the property, this is what you need to do next. After you consult with the buyer, you need to tell a story. You need to tell a story about what that property represents. There was a young newlywed that bought this property back in the 60s. They were married for 50 years, had three children, 12 grandkids, 
So you're building the story of family. Why this property has, because that's what's going to stick. It's not the price. It's not even the island in the kitchen. It's the story that is attached to the hot button is what, so if you do this correctly and effectively, that house can be 50, 75, $100,000 more than what the client was willing to spend initially because you drove it home with the story. So again, we covered how to access the hot button of the client. You must consult the client, tell the story, then you give the price. That is the same thing I do with my notary business. I consult them. I ask them what's going on. Tell me about your situation. Give me, give me some insight on what's going on in your life that makes you want to get a will or power of attorney done or quick claim deed. My mother just had a stroke. It, I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm flustered. I'm calling a bunch of people. I can't reach them. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to finish. Can you, can you help me? Th these are the stories that I get. So now, because I understand that that person is in, is disoriented, I will share with them a story, how a person was in the same situation as them and how they were able to achieve and successfully execute a power of attorney form. And then I give them the price. I never give the price early on. That is the quickest way to dissolve a relationship and lose a sale is giving the price early on. I give the price finally. It, it, it's like a no brainer at that point. They're like, okay, do you take credit card over the phone? And that's how I was able to take $246 and turn it into a five figure business in eight months. This ain't no hocus pocus shit. This ain't a, you know, like, Hey, this is what I was able to do. This is real life situations, real life scenarios. It's night is not microwavable. This is stuff that will carry you on for years and years and years to come. No matter if technology changes or stays stagnant the way it is. So I hope this helps out ladies and gentlemen, if you have not registered for my Google training, my, my free online Google training class, how to access millions of paying customers for free on Google. I don't know what you're thinking because this is a free training that I, I actually spend $3,240 to get. And I want to share this with you guys for free for the melanated community to how to access clients on Google. And you can do this with little or no technical skills at all. So again, I'm going to leave the registration link below in the comment section. If you have any questions, hit me up. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Peace, love, and prosperity to you and your family. I will talk to you guys soon. You heard?